All right, central focus is Six of Swords. In the shadows is Two of Cups. Passing away is Six of Coins in reverse. Approaching is Five of, wand of Wands. And highlighted is Seven of Coins. For week one, we've got Knight of Swords in reverse. Week two, Ten of Swords. Week three, Strength. And week four, we've got the world showing up in reverse, but world is such a positive card that regardless of its position, it's always, it's always a very good card to see. So Cancer, let's see. It looks like some of you may be traveling in July and or healing from something. This is Six of Swords. This is a card of recovery, of healing, of travel, of exploring new horizons. Um, and one of those, one of the themes there can be healing, recovery from something that you have been trying to move on from for a while. This is troubled seas, and this is smooth, clear horizons, uh, calmer waters. So that's the general theme. I'm seeing some blue here, some darker blue. So that usually has to do with the mental realms. Um, and I guess I'm just getting some sort of deep thoughts or pensive thoughts with the deep water here and the, and the deep blue here. So your thoughts are just sort of deep this month. That's kind of the general thing that I'm getting from this. What's in shadow is two of cups. That's lover's energy. That's um, a love affair, exchange of hearts, exchange of emotional energy. So this says that um, romantic things may be on your mind, but in an unconscious way, what's in the shadow is usually not at the conscious level, but at the subconscious level. Some of you may be thinking over your relationship or what you would like in a relationship. Uh, partnership may just be on your mind, but not, not necessarily at the conscious level. You may be thinking of other things, day-to-day -day events, um, work-related things, friends, events, parties, anything that you're doing on a surface level, but underneath the surface, you may be kind of just mulling over partnership, whatever that means for you, and, and however that's showing up, that's in your shadow position. What's passing away is six of coins in reverse. So this is really evaluating give and take, and letting go of anything that doesn't feel like it's equal um, in, in the exchange. In, in the upright position, six of coins is about equal exchange, that's what these scales are about. Um, but when it's in reverse, it's saying the exchange is unequal. It's not being, um, you're not being compensated for your value or you're not, you're giving more than you're receiving or vice versa. So with this in the passing away position, what it's telling me is that you're letting go of anything that is of unequal exchange. You're letting go, and it's right here next to partnership, I'm saying seeing that it may have something to do with letting go of anything that has to do with partnerships that are not equal, like that not don't have to do with equal exchange. Now that can be romantic, but it could also be like business partnerships. It could be um, friends. It could be any, any time that you're partnering with someone where it's feeling unequal, where you feel like the give and take is not happening. You're letting go of that. And by the way, you've got two sixes here. So sixes have to do with stability and balance and harmony and order. So what I'm getting, Cancer, is that with this, you're kind of saying, look, I'm healing, I'm recovering, I'm taking off. I'm leaving some things behind that felt unequal, like an imbalance of exchange. That's, what's, that's what I'm getting from, for you for July. Um, what's coming in is five of wands. This is a lot of Mars energy. So this is, this can be competition, but it can also be like on the low side, it can be aggression. It can be, um, disturbances, tension, you know, things that are fire and troublesome, but on, and even just problems, mundane problems. But on the high side, it's got the activity of Mars. So it could be competition. It could be like sport like getting in the game. It could be flirtation. It's got all the high side of Mars, which is fiery, fun, you know, involved energy. It's like going into battle. It's sort of like the, um, the image of two rams interlocking their, 
their horns. You know, it's like, let's, let's play, let's go for it. Let's get in this. So I, I really call this card playing versus fighting. So I'm seeing this coming in for you. So I would say, beware of any anger flare ups or trivialities, getting upset over nothing, getting upset over trivial problems. On the high side, I'd say engage yourself in, in fun. You know, go out and find the things that are fiery to you, that light you up, that provide you with enthusiasm and spark. And maybe if there's any competitions or sports or fun, um, flirtatious stuff that, that you'd like to get involved in, this is a fun card for that. Um, it's passionate. It's lively. It's a real lively card. And then for highlighted for you for July is Seven of Coins. So there's something that you're waiting on. There's something that you're just having to wait, waiting for it to harvest or the time for harvest, waiting for it to ripen on the vine. It could be something that's financially beneficial, but you're just having to wait until those rewards come about. Um, it's sometimes potentially related to the shadow card. The highlight and the shadow are sometimes two, two sides of the same coin. So it's, it's that you may be just thinking things over regarding relationships. You may be thinking, okay, when is it my turn to harvest things? When does this come to the surface? But it can also just be related to work um, and waiting for your ship to come in, waiting for the seeds that you've planted to bear fruit. It's also a time of assessment. So are the efforts that I'm putting forth yielding the results that I want to receive? So that's, that's what's going on for you for July, Cancer. And let's take a look at the weeks. Week one is Knight of Swords in reverse. So this is saying don't rush into anything before thinking it through. Knight of Swords is very gung-ho. And he's very much uh, loves to take up a cause and rush right in, even if the building is burning. He is very courageous. He's very insightful. He's, he's got a mind that's sharp as a tack. Um, but it's saying be careful when this card shows up in reverse. Be careful of not rushing in too quickly. Um, I'm getting the phrase, fools rush in where angels fear to tread, wherever, whatever that may mean for you. I see sometimes Knight of Swords as a firefighter who... We'll just go for it and go in because he know he's so intelligent and he knows like the map of the building in his own head. He knows um, what's going to work, what's not going to work. He's able to put thought into action. But when it's in the reverse position, it's saying be careful that you don't rush in um, without thinking and also without considering others' feelings. Sometimes he can be very sharp. And he, even though he knows the logic of the situation, he can be hurtful with his words um, because he's just, he's just all mind. So be careful when this card shows up in the reverse that you're not using your mind as the master. Use it as a tool. Um, and be careful that it's not, it's not, you're not rushing with what, it, like slow down in a way, especially with what you say in week one. Um, it's potential too that this card could also mean an air sign that doesn't have your best interests at heart. That could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Potentially in week one, if there's someone that, who's an air sign that fits the archetype of a jack or a knight, which is romantic, clever, playful, you know, some somewhat of a trickster, that's all jack and knight energy. You know, take what they say with a grain of salt. Don't, don't put all your weight or all your trust into them um, because they're showing up in the reverse position. So that's potential also. Um, I, in fact, in week one with both regarding you and what, and what your words are or rushing into anything or any jack energy, I'm just going to say take it easy, take it slow with that one. Um, week two you might be kind of burnt out and tired. I'm kind of getting the sense, this is 10 of swords. Swords represent thoughts, ideas, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. So this, this is a way of thinking that is no longer serving you or depleting your, your life force. I'm kind of just getting that you're burnt out on week two. So maybe you've been burning the candle at both ends and you're, you know, you're just exhausted. And it's like, I have all these things to think about and they're just draining me. So what I, what I want to encourage you with here, Cancer, is that if in week two you feel completely depleted, 
you're, you get your strength back in week three. So don't, don't worry about that. If in week two, you just feel like you need to collapse, um, another day comes. You may just need to take a long night to rest this one through. Week three, you get your strength back. So here it is, patience, fortitude, endurance, gentleness. You actually work the miracle, not through force, but through the gentleness of opening the jaws of this lion. And I'm actually getting a real sense here, Cancer, with both of these cards showing up. Both of these are cards about patience. So with it being highlighted for you in July, as well as this third week showing strength, through patience, endurance, fortitude. I'm just getting, you know, you might need to be patient. You're recovering from something. You're healing from something. You may have been traveling. You may feel depleted in week two. Just be patient with yourself, you know. Be, be gentle with yourself. Just wait it out. Your reward is coming later. In fact, you may see some nice rewards at the end of the month here. This is world in reverse. You may kind of arrive at this without knowing cancer is what I'm seeing. This in week four of July, you may look around and say, wow, I have it pretty good. I've actually, I actually feel really free. I feel very supported. I feel very much myself. This is the life that I want. This is who I want to be. This is who I am. But you may just have trouble seeing that. There may be some doubt, fear, or resistance to actually seeing you know, I have it pretty good. Life is pretty great. I, I am, I'm at the completed stage. I've, I'm at the top of my game. I'm at the completion of this cycle. Um, it may actually prepare you for August, ready to take on something new and ready, feeling like you've kind of hit a plateau that you want to open up a new adventure, a new journey, a new cycle with a new full which is the beginning of the next cycle. But just kind of take a moment at the end of July, Cancer, to realize, you know, maybe you've arrived in a certain way. Celebrate that. And your strength here feeds and fuels that.